Okay, I don't exactly know what to call this. I suppose I would call it a PSA of sorts. It's gonna be really short, uh, but I, I was, so I was on Instagram uh, today, it's Sunday, and uh, I saw, I was, <laughs> I was watching the Instagram story for an account called Houseplant Journal, because I don't know if you could tell, but I like, I like my houseplants. And uh, he did a sponsored post in collaboration with a brand called Lensball, um, which is, you know, photography lens in the form factor of a crystal ball. So I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. It's, um, it's a little gimmicky, but um, it's very appealing to the eye. So I clicked on the account, went to the account. Here's the account, at Lensball on Instagram. Uh, you can go look it up yourself. And um, I, I went to their website to see, you know, what sort of... Uh, pitch I would get and it turns out that they're sold out uh, through to March which is a month away at the time of recording so you know at least that's a good indication of demand pretty cool I like that um, and, and the numbers on Amazon leave something to be desired I think uh, but also I'll give you this um, healing stones <laughs> so it sounds it sounds as flaky as anything and it kind of is but the numbers on healing stones are actually really quite good so i'll give you those two for today lens ball and healing stones both quite good um but also i guess the secondary lesson here is that you can look at what products um companies are using for sponsored posts on platforms like instagram and facebook because it's rather telling and i think there's a lot of overlap between sponsored product um type physical products and what you'd want in an Amazon FBA product. So they're sort of validating the market and doing some research for you if you looked at it that way. Um, so you could certainly troll social media platforms and look at um, products of this nature. Because if you think about it, you know, they're, they're, they need to be consumer facing as do most successful private label products. They need to be small, shippable and, um, you know, low cost, relatively high margin if you're sending out samples uh, to influencers, uh, this sort of thing, um, and uh, they, you know, they're they're at least in this case, I, I saw a singular demonstration of consumer demand, which is encouraging. Of course, uh, more due diligence needed, as always. But uh, yeah, I didn't want this to wait. I wanted to give you uh, this right away. And if you want more updates like this, and you want you know to the minute product updates, if you want new strategies and tactics for selling on Amazon and making more money. Well, stay tuned and uh, make sure to subscribe. Um, new stuff coming all the time. I will see you in the next one.